Hello everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we're going to be doing a bit of a haul. So if you want to know where all I went, what all I got, and a couple of PR items that I received, just keep watching. here on Southeast by Midwest before we talk products we always disclose and the disclosure for this video is that I did receive a couple items from PR and I will make sure to mention those when I get to them I do apologize I did previously film this with like a full face of makeup on eyebrows you know bright red well it was a bold red look I might even insert a picture here that I took when I did it but if you remember I had a decor thing behind me and for some reason it focused entirely on that and with the way that my ring light is set up I cannot actually see the little screen when I have the ring light on so I've taken the ring light down for right now and I'm refilming this but this is going up Monday and I'm filming this literally at 3.52 on Sunday. That means I'm going to have to edit it after finishing uploading it or after finishing filming it and then I'm going to have to upload it on our really slow you know small town internet. So in order to get this up you know by Monday I'm going to have to like zip through this so I really didn't have time to sit down and do my face which gives these little things here that you see time to heal a little bit longer. One last thing that I do want to mention before we jump in is that I am doing this similar to how Samantha March does hers and I'm going to link her down below and the way that Samantha March does her videos is that she will do a haul and then she will come back in a couple weeks with a review of those products. Now if I manage to get reviews up of some of the products before I get to the haul review I will make sure to include links to that in that description box. So that is how we're going to do that. So we're going to go through this really quick and we will get into in-depth stuff in a couple weeks when I review most of the products. Some of the things like, you know, obviously I got some hand sanitizers at Bath and Body Works. I'm not going to review those because they're hand sanitizers. They work like hand sanitizers. I also do want to mention <laughs> all the add-ons before we jump in that I will include the links to as many of the things as I can find down below and I will mention at each one that if you're ordering online what the Ebates if I was able to find if they have Ebates would be and I do have a link down below if you want to sign up for Ebates basically um, when you purchase you get cash back if you do it through an Ebates link so I do it all the time I get little bitty checks every once in a while it's great Alright, so the first place that I went was Walmart, and Walmart has 1% cash back on beauty items if you go. So the first thing that I picked up was this Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And I wanted a SPF moisturizer. Uh, well, I wanted SPF is what I wanted. And all the ones I've been trying leave like this white cast on the face, and I didn't want that. So I decided to grab this to try, and that's going to be funny here in a minute. The next item that I picked up is this Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. Rimmel products seem to do really well here on my channel, so I decided to pick this up and give it a try. Uh, this is the first I saw it at my Walmart. And then this was in the discount box. These are the Hard Candy Boxed Blushes. This is Fox in a Box Girl Boss. This is a marbleized and baked highlighter. They are supposed to be dupes. It has this little brush in there for the Benefit um, boxed blushes and highlighters. They're not as good of quality because, like, you can see how that doesn't fit in exactly like what the as well as the Benefit ones do. But literally, this was on discount for like three bucks. So I had seen another blogger talk about them, so I decided to pick it up. And I got some more stuff, but that's coming up in a haul next Friday, I believe. So you'll want to come back and check for that. Next, I received a PR package from Derma E. And with that, I got two products. The first was this Derma E Sun Defense Mineral Oil Free Sunscreen. This is cruelty free and reef safe. So we'll have to see how it does in comparison to the other one and what the price point is. So I may actually do these in their own video and kind of compare the two and see which one I like best. The next product is this anti-wrinkle cleanser, vitamin A and glycolic acid. It has a nice little pump that when you twist it, it locks 
so it doesn't pump in like your travel bag or whatever. I actually use the hydrating cleanser and I honestly don't know if I'm going to use this one. So I think I'm actually going to set this to the side for a giveaway. I also purchased a bunch of items from Yankee Candle. One of the melts and the um, warmer that I got are not in this video. I will have them for the update video. But I did film, um, th this was going to be its own separate video. But I've decided to combine it into this. So I'm going to go through these scents real quick. I picked up the Yank, the Apple Pumpkin Centerpiece. These are all centerpieces in the warmer I got. I'll actually throw up a picture right here of the warmer that I picked up. I picked up Luscious Pumpkin Trifle. I picked up Sicilian Lemon. I picked up Sugar and Spice. I picked up Caf Cafe Alfresco. I picked up Honeycrisp Apple Cider. They did have regular apple cider, but I wanted to try the Honeycrisp version. I picked up Spiced Pumpkin. I picked up Moonbeams on Pumpkins. And then I picked up Clean Cotton for Travis. And I also picked up New England Blueberry for Travis. That's the one that's missing. By the way, Yankee Candle does have 2% cash back and they're constantly running like buy three, get one free or something like that on the centerpiece things. And the um, warmer that I showed you, is normally 30 and it was half off so they're currently constantly running things like that all right next I went to Bath and Body Works and they have 1% cash back but I did not get any candles because I have like a bunch of them they're sitting like right outside the door and I did not pick up any melts because I, ha I still have a bunch from the last time I got some uh, melts from them so I just picked up some basically some soaps and some hand, hand sanitizers the two soaps that I picked up were vampire blood that one is for Travis he loves that scent and then I picked up the perfect pumpkin which is the Halloween decor version of sweet cinnamon pumpkin which is my favorite scent I picked up two of the room sprays because they were on sale when I went in I picked up sweet cinnamon pumpkin and cranberry woods which is for Travis. Let's give this a spray. I smell no pumpkins. Oh I smell the pumpkins. Oh I might have sprayed too many. I picked up whoo I picked up two hand creams. I picked up a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Wow. Basic bitch, I'm saying. And I picked up a witch, please, which is the Wicked Berry. In all honesty, I'll probably give this one to Travis because he loves berry scented things. And the last couple things, I still didn't bring it in here. My goodness. I picked up a hedgehog sanitizer for myself and I picked up this one for Travis. It uh, actually lights up and then the head glows in the dark so I picked that one up for him and inside of there is Crips morning air I also picked him up no llama drama because I'm in a Facebook group where llamas are the thing but it is chillberry scented which isn't a scent for me so uh, but he loves that like I said loves the berry scents so I picked that up for him I also picked him up sparkling limoncello because he loves that scent I picked him up Beautiful Day. He loves the fruity scent of that. I picked him up Vampire Blood because like I said, he loves when Halloween runs around, rolls around and that is a scent that is available. And I picked him up Candy Corn, which is a Boo Rat, the Boo Raspberry scent. And lastly, I picked him up Island Margarita, but I did not realize it was so pear-y. I love pear. I might actually steal this. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Um, I picked myself up two of the perfect pumpkins, which is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Uh, one of them is already in the hedgehog. I also got myself a pumpkin cupcake. I picked up happy birthday, which it's nowhere near my birthday. My birthday's in April, but it is a cake batter scented one. Um, I picked up confetti cupcake, which is sweet sprinkles. I picked me up a I like you a latte, which is marshmallow pumpkin latte. And I also picked him up this one because he loves coffee and it's a coffee themed one and then I skipped this one accidentally I also picked him up hello sweet baby which is a soft and fresh he loves the clean linen type scents so that was everything at Bath and Body Works I went to books a million and let me tell you that experience is why I usually purchase 
online when it comes to Books A Million, and even then, I don't usually purchase online at Books A Million. Oh my goodness, the people constantly following you around, and on top of that, when you get up to the counter, do you want to sign up for the card? No, I don't. I don't shop here enough. Are you sure you could use it online? I don't shop enough. Are you sure? Look, guy, I'm really about to walk out the door here. Well, how about these magazines? Are you sure you can't find one you like? I get that they, you know, they have to get the signups and stuff like that. But when somebody tells you no, and you you can ask once more, I get that. But when you keep asking, you're you're gonna wind up with a walkout more than you're gonna wind up with a sign up. So, and as you can see, I got the big bag. That's because I actually had a post. Um, a wall art thing that I was gonna put back there but after yesterday's experience that's gonna be going somewhere else so you'll see that when I do when I finally finish setting up this room um, and do the to room tour which I'm getting to a spot where I can get back to setting this up I had to go to the emergency room for my back uh, it turns out I have a degenerative disc and arthritis in my back so I have to wait for it to fully heal before I can really do anything because literally going to the grocery store, I have to put warmers on my back because it hurts. So, and then on top of that, I dropped something on my foot. So I'm just all over the place. But other than that, I picked up the Bob Ross and the Raccoon Pop Vinyl. I grew up on Bob Ross. Love me some Bob Ross. Love that he is happening again. I picked up a Gamer's Guide to Coding book and you may not realize this but I actually have an associate's degree in computer programming and I'm currently uh, doing a cyber security certificate so um, I thought it would be fun to do on the side. I picked up some of the Gilmore Girl bookmarks so you have magnetic bookmarks so you have Luke's you have life short uh, talk fast dragonfly in and then the no cell phone sign uh, we actually just started getting into Gilmore Girls, so I'm excited about that. And then I picked this up. This was on clearance. This is normally supposed to be like 30 bucks. It was on clearance for $5. I had to pick it up because this is going on the shelf when it gets over there because it makes a good decor piece. But what it actually is, is when you open it up, it has a little cubby in it, and you take off the tissue paper, and it has these little stickers that say Walt Disney Archive because what they are is that they're note cards, blank on the inside, and then on the back, it tells you about what this one is. So this is, says, a rather different looking beast and a frightened but recognizable bell from an early design exploration of the two principal characters. Beauty and the Beast, released November 13th, 1991. Visual development, mixed media. Andre Deja, artist. Before animation commences, visual development artist designed conceptual imagery to establish the look and feel of the film. And then there's like 10 different ones in here. The last item that we have is a PR item and it was from Oh Hello. They have new um, traveler's notebooks. You probably have seen this one on my channel before. I did a whole video on it. Um, I use this all the time. I have a monthly calendar in it. I have a homework tracker in it. I have a weekly spread in it. They came out with a new pocket size and they sent this one to me, little donuts, and inside they put a little pocket sized horizontal weekly in there. They put a pocket sized project manager in there, which will be great for my YouTube videos. And then a pocket sized dot grid. It does have the little pocket in the back for either an extra notebook or just like other things. And over here, you've got the little flap and you got little card spaces right there. So now the sizes that they have are, hold on, I want to make sure I give them all to you. Pocket A6, B6, and A5 are your size options now. And you could choose which one you want here. You could choose the colors, so like this is the black one. This is the, I think it says it's red, but it comes off pink, really. And you get the three cords. It also comes with an extra cord that you could put around it to keep it closed if you want. And then you can also get it personalized if you like or just get it plain like so that. So I love their Traveler's Notebooks. So if you use the code CASSIE10, which I'll put in here, you can save yourself 10% or you can just go to the link that I'll have in the description box and order without using that. I don't make anything off of it. It just lets them know that I'm the one that sent you. Hopefully you found this haul fun. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really does help. Make sure that you follow me on the social media link down below. Make sure you subscribe if you'd like. And if you do, make sure to hit the, no the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what the last thing you purchased was. And until next time, bye!